Hey everybody, welcome back to another video from Breezy Organization. I'm really excited to jump on here today and to show you guys how I'm going to be planning with January 2024. Um, I will say that I'm a couple days late. I planned on having this out on New Year's Eve, but due to sickness and traveling, there was just no way that I could get the video completely filmed and out. But I'm also super excited to announce that our dark mode portrait customizable planner um, is available on the shop and on Etsy now. So I'm really excited to have all of my deadlines met and all of your planners out to you guys. So now we get to move on to planner pals and lots of stickers and other fun things um, to help with our digital planning for 2024. Uh, first of all, if you're new here to the channel, we obviously talk about digital planning and we are a community that gets behind each other, encourages each other in our productivity. And um, we also have challenges that we do um, that we encourage each other to do uh, from week to week that we can also set into our planners to kind of help us get a kickstart on the new year and get some things done, cleaned out, organized type of deal. Um, if you're not already, definitely join us on Facebook. Our Brizio family group is a thriving group. We have so many people uh, that post on there every single day. Lots of inspiration on all different kinds of ways that you can use our products. So definitely join us over there if you are looking into Breezy Organization products. We're also on Instagram and here on YouTube. So we've got tons of content and inspiration for you guys to dive into for literally weeks on end uh, to binge watch all of the things that we have for you guys here. So I know several people have asked me and want to know which planner I'm using for 2024. So I've decided on the customizable planner um, again this year. So last year was the first year that I stuck with one planner for the entire year and I get bored with some of the same setup. So I think that's why I was able to stick with the planner last year is because of our customizable planner setup where we can take something new and change it from day to day and week to week. Something new with our customizable planners this year is we offer a blank daily so you can customize that from day to day or we have a new um, filled in daily and I am loving the daily. I am not a daily person normally, um, but it's something I'm wanting to try for 2024. And I know we're only on day two, but I am loving it. I have been able to fill it out to where it doesn't look like it's empty, but yet it's super useful and productive for me to use. And that's exactly what I was going for for this year. And our brand new check-in feature at the bottom right, I am loving it. I hope you guys are too. I heard lots of feedback when we first released the planners that everybody was super excited. Now that we're actually putting this into action and using it, I I hope that it is just really working for you guys. I'm going to be given lots of tips and tricks through this video, different things that I've done to set up and which products I'm using. So definitely stay around if you're wanting to hear some more tips and tricks and stuff like that. Um, this is my January spread in the customizable planner. I am using the daily version, so it's already got my daily filled in for me, and I just have to add in um, basically my checklist and stuff. I did change the front cover out, so we came out with a quarterly planner that had this front cover, and I loved it so much, and it said January, February, March on it, so I changed it, and this one says Life Planner 2024. If y'all are interested in this cover, I can um, definitely maybe do another um, cover um, product on the shop or something if you guys are interested in this as well, but this is the one I decided going into January. I figured it fit really well with the light colors and the blue. That's kind of what we go with in our January sticker setup. So first of all, I'm going to go through and show you guys what I'm using. And then I'm going to go back through and show you guys some tips and tricks that I think is going to make it even easier and quicker for me to digital plan in 2024. So like I said, I'm using the customizable planner and I changed out that cover. This is my monthly spread here. I'm going to be using this page, finance notes and vision board on every page. I use those every month. Um, the one through 12 I use to correspond with the months of the year. So January is number one, February is number two, and so on and so forth. And I use the for either journaling or I use them for what I'm coming out with next with the business, um, new releases, what customers have suggested, um, and that sort of thing. I always end up filling up the notes in the vision board. And then if I need spillover or if I'm doing journaling or whatever, that's what I use the sections for over here. Okay. And then let me show you my first weekly layout. What I like to do is pre-plan a lot of my weeks. So I've got my first week here, my second week's ready to go, my third week. So I've got these pre-planned. And I also do this for the quarterly planner because I have to plan up to release the quarterly planner for you guys. Um, so a lot of these are going to be the same spreads that in the quarterly planner. Um, but I have changed these before. So just because they're planned up, it makes it really, really nice if I'm running out of time. So I really like doing four to six of these or more at 
a couple of settings, you know, way before the time that it's ready. Um, and then sometimes I just really have a sticker that I want to use and it doesn't work with my layout. So I will just um, redo it. So, but I have found that I use them and I am better at planning when I have things already set for me to where all I have to do is add in my stickers and my appointments checklists and things like that. So that's where I'm at with my weeklies. I am using dailies this year, so I am trying my best to use dailies this year. I really think that they'll be beneficial to me. Anytime you take the extra time to sit down and plan and make a list, um, you're going to be more productive. You're going to know exactly what your goals are for that day. You're going to be able to go in and do them and not be like, oh, I'm going to go clean this up real quick and then I'm going to go do this and then, oh yeah, I forgot about this. Let me go do this. You're going to have a plan, so you're going to be actually executing and getting things done faster. Um, and your mind's just going to be fresh on what needs to be done, so you don't spend a lot of time just thinking and wandering uh, throughout your day, which allows you to have more just downtime of just relaxing with nothing on your mind um, because you've got your checklist completed for that day and that's all that was required of that day. So I am really big this year on making checklists that are doable. Sometimes I like to put 60 things on my checklist and think that I'm going to be able to accomplish them all in one day when in real life that is just not realistic and it can lead to burnout, stress, um, overwhelm, and all that stuff. So definitely Definitely setting goals that are manageable. Okay, so my week has the things that have to be done, really have to be done. Um, sometimes I try, I try to do them on the day that they're on, but these are things that just have to be done. And if I don't make it on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and that means Thursday and Friday, I'm doing everything that's on the whole week. So these are things that this is my core. My weekly is my core. Things that I have to be done, menu planning. Um, I'm going to try to track my activity um, on my watch this year. So I use this little icon that's from like our exercise workout sticker pack. And then I use one of our inserts and I just took off the wording on the top, which you can use by hitting the image icon and clicking it and then crop you can cut off the label on the top so my um, activity tracker my menu tracker and then a habit tracker for the new year um, that comes from the sidekick sticker pal and then my checklist and a, uh, my three checklists for each work day and then appointments that's how I set up my weeklies um, and it works for me I did this all year last year it truly works for me this is just it helps me be super productive I have fun doing the creative part of it it just works so that is a look at that so this is how I am currently using my dailies. I'm loving them guys. Absolutely loving them. You mark in um, the weather, uh, your mood. I was really tired yesterday because I stayed up the night before. <laughs> um, and then I just put happy new year. I added in a picture and then I'm going to talk about how you can make these. So I had, uh, since I slept in, I had everything kind of shifted down a little bit, um, but I have my color blocking system. And if you have never done um, block time management, um, I highly recommend it. Setting alarms for yourself to get a certain task done, especially if you're perfectionist, is absolutely amazing. Or if you're good at wasting time. <laughs> because once your timer goes off, you're done. You have to move on to another project. And it is going to allow you to get a lot more done um, and less time wasted. Okay, the other two things I'm tracking up here at the top is productivity and energy. Um, here I just put, oh, hello week, let's do this. I believe these are the stickers that came with the new planners this year. Um, and then I just added a highlighter behind it. I've got, um, I just screenshot a picture of my planner and I used one of our stickers from the new work from home pack and just put the new cover pile on there. I have my focus three that was for yesterday and then my checklist. You can see that I did not get done one, two, three things on my checklist yesterday, but these are things that didn't have to be done. These are things that had to be done. So um, I finished my focus three. So then I came down to my check-in and I completed my focus three. I had planning time. I had connection. I had self-care and I had my 15 minute plus <laughs> cleaning time. So love this. It just works for me. I hope it works for you guys. Um, later on in the year, if I feel like the block planning, like once you get in a rhythm, sometimes you don't need to block plan every day, right? Because you kind of know what your rhythm is. And so later on in the year, I may take the insert that has the morning, noon, and evening and just um, cover up. I'll crop that part out and, and use it right here on top of this part. So that's something that I may do later in the year. Moving on to today, this is how I have it set up so far. Um, I set up most of this last night, so I haven't done the weather and the mood yet this morning. My routine actually looks a little bit different today because we have got a few other things going on. So um, I'm going to keep doing this and see if 
if it helps me. Uh, last year, I started out doing it, and I kind of felt like I had it down, so I quit doing it, but then somewhere in the middle of the year, I lost um, my routine, and so <laughs> it definitely helps coming back to this, just being real here, being really real. Um, so I put my productivity right here by the Focus 3. I typed in my Focus 3 and my checklist, and then I have my check-in down here at the bottom. Um, so that is a look at this. Now, I want to show you um, several tips and tricks with this, but let me show you one more thing that I have set up for the new year. Going back to January, I do have um, notes and vision. I always use ev every single month. I use these pages. It, they're just my notes pages. They're things that don't necessarily need to come continue to a new planner, but I'll go back and check them and compare different things that I was working on or thinking about or whatever throughout the month. And I love having all of these back to back so I can see, oh, January, I did the, okay. And then, you know, I compare things a lot with the business on my notes and vision board pages. So here's my January finance page. I have all of the bills and everything typed in. I've got to add in a few more things, but now that I have all of these typed in and these bills are going to stay the same, what I'm going to do is hit the lasso tool and I'm going to lasso both of these and I'm going to hit add element and then I'm going to do a new collection and I'm going to name this finance. Um, and so now whenever I go to the next month for finances, I'm going to hit this little yellow star. I'm going to go to finance and I'm going to click this and then just drag this on here. So instead of having to keep going back to each page and copy and paste, I can just simply hit the star. I know it's saved and bam, I can put in all of my bills and everything for every month. So that's going to be really, really easy. And you can do that with all of your variable expensive if, if you want to, all of that stuff. So I have all of this set up. And then if I go back to January, I'm gonna show you what I'm using the January overview page. So if you hit the month name on any of the month pages, it's gonna take you to an overview page. This is where I'm keeping up with with my budget check-in. So I've got week one through five up here and there's three main categories that I'm keeping up with. So I'm using this from the Sidekick um, sticker pal and I've named them all. So I have grocery, restaurant, and spending. And then I can just write down on each week to kind of see how I'm doing on our budget and see if I'm staying within our budget. So um, what I did here was extended. So this is what the page normally looks like. I hit this and I hit the lasso tool. And then I just grabbed the bottom part of this. So just kind of make sure you're going between those lines right there and then cut over. And then I'm going to take screenshot and then I just hit copy. Once you do this on one of the pages, you can copy and paste it to every page. So then I'm just going to make this the size that it needs to be where it's going to line up. And then I'm going to stretch it this way because I need the lines to be longer. Okay. So then I'm just going to bring this down and get those lined up the best that I can and then click off. And then whenever I go over here, which I've already got the background, now I can have all of this checked and I'm simply going to lasso and hit copy and hit paste. And then I can actually do the same thing and save this for the overview page. So click and hit add element. I'm just going to add this to the finances so I know which the one that is. So then whenever I get on the next month, if I just want to hit this and then go to that finance page, I can just simply paste it in for the new month. And then just like that, in a couple of seconds, I have got January, February, and March pretty much set up with the overview pages. So using this elements feature for things that are just repetitive is key. And I'm going to show you that even more in just a minute. Um, the other things that I'm going to be using is the planner pal portrait and the sticker pal portrait. So I've been going back and forth on whether I want to use the split screen sticker pal or the portrait sticker pal. And I still haven't completely made up my mind, but I do have the sticker pal portrait completely set up. So I'm going to try to use that through the month of January, see how I like it and see if I'm not, if I want to switch back or if I want to keep the sticker pal. So what that looks like is, so this is what my sticker pal looks like right now. I have January through December on here. And then I have my mini calendars that are endless mini calendars that you can use year after year. I've got numbers, month and days, travel, farmhouse, work, plan, weekend, task, plan, Plants, arrow, shop and exercise, entertainment, food, events, in stacks, bucket list, icons, and strips. And then on my second page, I have furniture, planner words, letter board, icon, washi, faith, floral, animals, farm truck, 
I have two empty ones, quotes, bullet journal, cooking, clothes, places, outdoors, Western and mom life. And then I have um, holidays, New Year's, July 4th things. And then I have seasons, spring, summer, fall, winter. And then if I click on number three, this is going to take me to like more of the scene stuff. So I have scene work, scene. And then I went ahead and made ones, even though we don't have them out yet, but I made it for uh, scene, spring, summer, fall, winter. And then I have scene, Valentine, Christmas, kitchen, bathroom. So these are all going going to be like scene type of stuff is going to be on my number three and number four doesn't have anything and then I have my widgets so I have color changing favorite shapes mix and match boho uh spring summer fall winter shapes and then I have um a lot of like the original um style shapes here and then underneath here I've got all of my shapes filled in for light and dark that I use all the time so all those are set and ready to go. And then underneath inserts, I have weekly and daily for landscape. And then I've got all of the inserts, travel, Bible study, cleaning, business, home, all these full page inserts ready to go. And then I have January through December that I added over here for the color um, weekly shape. So I went ahead and have all those filled in for the whole year. So I can just easily add those as they come. These are going to be like the gray and plain weekly and daily shapes. And these are going to be the colored ones that match to the month. So that's how my sticker pal is set up and then I have my planner pal so so this is set up pretty much from my last videos that I showed you all some of these still have blank ones but I am making pals for them very soon um, so the notebook pal is just a whole bunch of notes and stuff that I have to keep up with and it's all in one place I know that if I have a note about something that I'm wanting to keep it's going to be a notebook pal finance we don't have out yet recipes I've got courses is set up with my recipe pal I know we've already been through um, a lot of this stuff but our um, pals are just amazing to keep everything in one place I've got my books ready to go for this year where you can add in a book cover and then click on it and give all of your highlights and review we've got more coming um, we've got the tv pal and movie pal and other things within the split screen but we have not made them for full screen yet so those are coming um, and then of course we've got uh, the notebook pal um, to keep any of our notes throughout the year, different things that I'm working on, just a notebook. And it's really easy to keep everything in one spot. Uh, business, ministry, Bible study, and adventure have not come out yet. And then the Christmas one I used this past year. The media and scrapbook one has not come out yet. And the party one has not come out yet. So I've just got those. Those are ones that I want and where I want them. So I went ahead and typed them in even though they're not out yet. So whenever they come out, I'll have a place for them. And then books to read for 2024. I've got the book pack in there and then I have got my organizer in there and it is coming along as far as getting everything set up for that so these are a good place for screenshots um, and ideas wish list uh, parties if I like to plan for certain theme parties and stuff like that or traveling if I find good traveling info on a certain location that we're wanting to travel to very soon I will start putting that underneath there so whenever we go to plan I will have good uh, screenshots and information to go along with it so my planner pal is absolutely huge I absolutely love using this thing um, and I still am using my split screen planner pal and that's for things that I need on the go so there's different pictures that I'm wanting to take there's grocery list there's shopping list um, lots of stuff like that and I keep that in my split screen planner pal so anything that I need available on my phone I put on there and that is pretty much what I am using this year I have a planner that's going to take care of all of my scheduling and finance stuff and then I've got my planner pal for all things tab Taxes, recipe notes um, and all the fun things all the fun trackers and book trackers and movie trackers all that sort of thing and then I have my sticker pal for all of my stickers widgets insert and then I've got my split screen planner pal for my phone for anything that I need on the go so within those four planners I have got my whole life it's got everything that I need to keep up with everything is very simple on where I go to find everything and um, I am just loving loving the setup so now for a few more tips and tricks getting you going for 2024 now I have not filled out my menu yet because I wanted to show you guys a couple of things um, whenever you're messing with anything with lines I'm going to show you instead of doing a separate text box on each one you can do it all within one text box this is also true um, with like the daily spreads when you have the checklist every single day um, anything that you have lines it's pretty easy to do within good notes so and then I'm going to write in what we're having so the first one is chicken that's what we had yesterday Okay, and then I'm gonna move this down to like 
move it down to 20 and I'm going to change it to white. And then I am going to make it the right angle because I have it on an angle here. So I'm gonna put that right there. So I'm gonna hit the text box again. Okay, and then if I wanna go down to the next line so I don't have to get my keyboard out, you're gonna hit outside of the bottom of the text box line, but like you're gonna hit like on the next line where it would go, but make sure you hit outside of the text box area. And this is gonna automatically bring your cursor down to the next line. And then I'm gonna type in egg roll bowl because that's what we're having today make this a little bit bigger again i'm going to hit outside the line it's going to bring it down and then i'm going to put steaks and then okay once i have my seven meals here i've just got the text box highlighted you can see it's still uh clicked on and then i'm going to hit this um align button here with the lines and it says automatic line spacing down here i'm going to just move this to where they fit so sometimes um, you'll think you'll be going like this and be like, okay, they don't fit at all. So you need to get them about the right distance apart. And then you may have to move this top one up. Just get it to where it looks pretty good. I'm actually going to take down. And then you can play with it a little bit until you get it just how you like it. And then, um, if you struggle with doing this, you can always save these. Okay, so we're just gonna, okay. And then I'm gonna hold down and hit paste. Okay, now it pasted everything like I said. So we're gonna click off, we're gonna click the image tool and we're gonna delete these that we don't want like this. And then I actually want this without this background. So I'm gonna hit image and see how the image cuts off here for the weekly menu. So I'm gonna hit just below that. So it'll grab the background one and I'm gonna exit out of that. Now you're not gonna be able to see it right now. I'm actually going to lasso it and change the color so I can see this once I save it to the element. So I'm gonna change it to black cause I can always change that later. I'm going to hit in the middle and hit add element. I'm gonna do a new collection and I'm gonna call it weekly cause this is something I'm gonna have on every weekly spread. So I'm gonna hit create. And then this one's ready to go. So now next week when I, later on this week, whenever I'm planning next week, I've already got some of it laid out. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna grab this cute little um, blanket one and I'm gonna go over to my spread and say I put my weekly menu up here. Then I'm gonna hit this little star icon and then my weekly one is here. So I can click this and it says weekly. You can also open this in the side screen and kind of click all of them and it shows you the names of them up here. Um, but here I've got weekly. So then I'm just going to, so then I'm just going to drag this over and close that out. And you can see I've got my weekly menu that's all ready to go. And I can lasso this and change the color back to white or whatever color I want. And then I can just hit my text and change out my menu. So instead of having to pick the font and all of that, I just, I'm just one click away from adding it and ready to go. Okay, so there's actually a few other things that I set up using the elements feature as well. So taking the same concept of me saving the weekly menu insert and text, I went back through my 2023 planner very thoroughly. So I went through weekly, daily, um, finances, any anything in this planner, I went through. And if I noticed anything that I used over and over again, if I noticed text, um, things that I really, really liked, I saved them to elements. So let let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me go to like right here, this wedding anniversary. I love this font pairing. So I'm going to click on the lasso tool and I'm going to lasso just these fonts. So I'm going to lasso just these fonts, click in the middle and hit add element. And then I have a list called text. So I'm going to hit text and it's going to save it underneath there. I went through and I did this, like say, um, I use this sticker all the time with this writing. I'll lasso the sticker and the writing together and use them. So it's it's going to help me be a little bit quicker in 2024 on planning different things. So, okay, so getting on with um, the different things that I have set up in my elements is what I want to show you guys next. So I'm going to click on elements and I'm going to open it up in this side screen here so I can show you a little bit better. Um, so you saw how I just set up my finance and weekly page. Now my finance and weekly um, 
elements folders. So I've got a few other folders here. Um, I have one called favorite stickers. So these are stickers that I use very, very often. They're either my favorites. They're the happy birthday, which I, I love this happy birthday one. I use that often for birthdays. I have a movie night for whenever we're watching a movie. I can put it in the movie that we're watching. This is a new work one. I use these to, um, you know, put whenever I'm working. I've got my ring sticker for Apple rings down here. So these are just like my core, core stickers. I just use them, use them, use them. So I have one called faves. That's one of my categories. My next category is layout. So y'all, this is amazing. So say I'm in August, say I need um, a quick weekly layout. I didn't have time to do my weekly layout. Well, I went through all of last year and any of the layouts that I really, really loved, I copied and pasted over to another page, deleted all the extra stickers and appointments and stuff and to where I could just save the layout and the names of the week. So I've already got several layouts ready to go. So basically I can click on this and have a weekly layout already ready to go with the names and everything just like that. So absolutely amazing. I have several of these already like just ready to go. This is a really pretty fall one. And say I want to use this. I used this right in the middle of the page last year. Um, say I want to use this, but I've got the new color palette for the new month. And so all I have to do is switch it out for the new color palette. So I think that this is just an amazing way that if you ever run out of time one week, you've got it all set up. All you got to do is change out the numbers. So layouts, that's another one of my categories. Another category is icons, which I showed you guys this, and this has my quick links. Um, so this is amazing that it carried over to this planner. I can click on these and then just drag this over and it's going to have all of my quick links. So one of the things that I would go to all the time is like um, new releases coming out. If I needed to check that it was underneath my work one so I click here and it's going to show um, my new releases that I had coming out so and if I needed to go to my notebook I can click that so all of these quick links work so that's what's all under the icon here so I'm going to delete this and then my next one um, are these cute little circles so I have more that I added um, I have like a little show that we like to watch. I'll put that on there and, I, and I've shown how I use these. They are super adorable to put on any spreads. So I can click on the second and say I've got an Amazon delivery package come in. I can just drop this one in and put here and show that I've got Amazon coming in. Really, really cute to use these cute little circles. And I have a whole video. Um, I think it was called free stickers or something like that here on YouTube just a few weeks ago where I show how you can go in and make these. So I've got more to add to here, but this is where I'm keeping those. And then I have the next one is widgets. So use the weekly menu one. So I could have actually put this underneath widgets. I may change that, but I also like having things like when I'm on the daily page, I can go to my daily elements. When I'm on the weekly page, I can go to my weekly elements and that's what's going to be there is stuff that I use for my weekly page. So I may tweak these and even add text to those um, pages as well. I don't know, but I really like how this is set up. So um, this is a widget I kind of just made out of stuff that we had. Um, so if I drag this over on here, you can see that this was a habit tracker. And so I put cooked, read, connected, and task, and I just cut off the top of it. So then I can just change out this background one and add this widget. It's ready to go, even though I made it to fit my needs. That's an easy way that you can save it to elements and reuse it over and over again. So that's widgets. And then next I have daily. So this is what I want to talk to you about. Um, say I'm planning for tomorrow. Okay. I already know I'm using these products activity and energy on pretty much every page. So I can go ahead and add those wherever I want them. And then I've got my connect down here. So I've got the perfect sizing and spacing and font. So I can just drag this over and put it in here and change out what it says. So it just makes it so much easier than hitting the text box four times, then copy and pasting, then finding the font that you want, the size that it needs to be, and all of that. I can have that done in just two seconds. Um, and then I also have all the checklists ready to go and sized. So all I have to do is set these in here, and then I can literally get out my keyboard and type in everything, or I can just simply write in everything, but the spacing and everything is saved. Um, so this is just going to save so much time. I love having these quick elements. It's just going to save so much time. Um, now the other fun part is if I'm keeping a basic routine, I can just go and paste this in every day. 
and put it over the clock where it needs to be. Or if I need to adjust any of the times or anything, I've also saved them individually. So say my morning routine is going to be a little bit different or a little longer. I can click off, hit image, click on this, and I can make it go longer if I want, right? And then there, I've got my morning routine set up that way. Or I can just add these individually. So to create your first one, you're going to hit your highlighter and you're going to find some colors that you like. So do that. Figure out what size this needs to be to cover up the amount of the numbers that you wanted to cover up. And start creating your first one. So pick whatever time you wake up or that you're going to do your morning routine and highlight it. And go ahead and pick out whatever colors you want to use. So say... I am blocking off my time like this. So you just have to think about what you're doing on the certain hours of the day. And once you figure out and get all of your colors, how you like them, you've got your basic structure right here. You've set up your day. Okay, now to create these, you're gonna hit the lasso tool and you're just gonna grab only that color. Don't go outside the box. Click the middle, take screenshot. You've got your screenshot and then hit copy. Now what we're gonna do is paste and it's gonna paste this full color. And all you have to do is make this the size of the width that you need it. And then in the future, you can change it to be whatever height you need it to be. And then I'm gonna hit text, good feeling sans is already selected. I'm gonna hit white morning routine, okay? And then I'm all set. So now to save this, I'm going to hit lasso. I'm going to click this. And then I'm going to add element. And I'm going to save this to my daily. And it showed up right here. So whenever I'm on the next day, I am ready to go. Just pop that in there. And if I need to change the amount of time, I can just hit the the image tool and change the amount of time. Super, super easy. So that's how you're gonna add in all of your black planning if you want it to look like that. Um, and then saving for quick um, use later. You can either do this in split screen or you can just do it up here or you can click it and do it out of here. So you don't actually have to do split screen with that if you don't want to. But so far I am absolutely loving the ease of this. So then whenever I go to a new month, so when I go to a new month or say I go to a weekly layout, let's go to a weekly layout. So let's go to next week and say I'm sitting here getting ready to plan here. I can hit this and I can see any of the font pairings that I have. So I'm going to go to text. I have one called text. So these are all font pairings that I found out of my last year that I absolutely love um, and would love to use again. So like here's my budget check-in. So I want to add that on for this week. So I'm going to add it on right here but I need to change the color. But since it's text that I did within GoodNotes, I can do that and I can change it to all white if I want or change it to two different colors. And then if I hit this again, let's say I've got my checklist that I need to do. So I'm gonna go down through here and grab a work checklist so I can put that on these days. Okay, this pay bills is one that I added with a sticker. So that's a great um, idea here where you can see that I say both of those that I may do every single week. And then let's say I need to go and grab some really cute stickers. So I'm gonna grab the stickers and add this onto here. It's just going to be so easy to plan out your week with having a lot of things that's just already worked for you and things that you do over and over again. And then you can change the color of them if you created them within GoodNotes here. So that is a great way um, to save a lot of time. Um, so that is how you do your color blocking. That is how I am set up to go into 2024. So I am going to get out my um pen and click on white and i am going to mark off film video because i am done with that now so thank you so much for watching today's video i hope you guys gained some tips and tricks to continue with your 2024 planning i have been loving everything that i have been seeing on our facebook group and how all of you guys are getting set up thank you so so much for watching this video i truly hope that this did help you guys um with that line spacing with um, making some processes easier for you and every Everything that I'm using going into 2024. Thank you so much for joining me here today and I will catch you on the next one. Don't forget about our new releases every single Saturday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. I will see you then. Happy planning and happy new year.